Concerns have been raised about the practicability of this Section 12, Subsection 8, which empowers the State Controller of Prisoner or Correctional Services to reject additional inmates when the facility under his watch is full. The question is, is he going to send the inmates away? Is he going to release the inmates to go home even when they have been convicted of crime that is not healthy for the society? The way forward, Mr. Speaker, that is proposed by this bill is that we need to build more prisons. Achieving the total reform of the reformatory institution in the country would never be possible, except the nation takes a deliberate and bold step towards building more reformatory centers. If history is anything to go by, what happened in the past, you will see how persons were dumped in prisons. Therefore, my contention is the committee must be very specific in saying prisons that are done by states, this is to the extent they will be. It's only when you have a democratic system that all these ideals can begin to work. Sure, we can start working towards it, but we don't have to take a leap. Saying that individuals should take care of prisons in Nigeria, I'm not sure we are really ready for that. What about the personnel? Who's going to provide the personnel? We also don't want a situation where people will suffer, will starve. At the flip side of it, we also don't want a situation where we are going to have a, a holiday camps. I am of the opinion that since it's not privatization or making private individual control that sensitive sector, it is only removing it from the exclusive list and from the concurrent list and making the state government make legislation that will aim at organizing and controlling the activities of prisons, prison sector. I support in totality that this bill is up and it should be allowed to pass second reading. You cannot just simply because I made a mistake and stole a cow <laughs> and you took me with, you, you match me with hurting criminals that are armed robbers, kidnappers, or Boko Haram members in the same prison. So how do you reform me? How do you correct my attitude? So as far as I'm concerned, we are calling on our colleagues to understand the reason why we said State government also should participate so that we have, at the end of the day, a decongested prison services, a reliable prison services, and a decent prison services. Because only God knows tomorrow who is going to be there.